Hello everyone, wanted to make a quick video about a relatively new DynamoDB feature called DynamoDB Infrequent Access Tables. And this feature is mainly meant for those of you that have a DynamoDB table that stores lots and lots of data, but doesn't have a lot of read or write access to that table. And the whole idea with this uh, new tier, this new classification of tables is that you can save on cost if you're in a situation where you store a lot more data and you don't access it very often. Um, so great for examples such as if you're storing application logs or maybe like audit trails or order event history, any kind of situation where you have kind of hot data for a period of time and then it kind of settles down into cold data. This is a, a great use case for infrequent access tables. A nice thing about this new configuration is that you can specify infrequent access during the table creation step, and you can also toggle it on or off even after your table is created. Uh, you can do this manually through the console now. Uh, I expect this to be offered in CloudFormation and CDK relatively soon, if not already, so you can check it out there. And in terms of the specifics of how much money you're going to save, um, at least on paper, infrequent access tables advertise as 60% lower storage costs However, and there's always a, a gotcha, however, there is a 20% higher read and write throughput costs. Um, so like I said, if you're, you're predominantly storing lots and lots of data and that's the largest contributor to your DynamoDB bill, then you may have a, a good, good reason to switch to infrequent access tables. If you're not sure whether or not infrequent access is going to end up saving you any money, uh, the best way to do this is just to go to the AWS cost calculator, add DynamoDB, and then take your most recent bill, put all those settings into the cost calculator, and then just toggle on the infrequent access in the standard tier back and forth and see if there's any cost savings there for you. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the other ones on the left and right on DynamoDB and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.